Hi, I'm Craig Bernson, and you're watching Rustcam. Craig Bernson. Yeah. Uh, I'm a component one community influencer, uh, which means that I think I can get arrested for driving under the influence of component one, which is, <laughs> which is actually a very good thing. Yeah, it's a good program all the way around. I, uh, uh, rolled it out uh, not too long ago. We got about half a dozen folks uh, on board with this, and uh, like I say, it's about the community, so it helps facilitate folks like you, uh, MVPs and speakers, to get out there and speak more, get more engaged with the community as well as get the word out more about the Component One tools from our perspective. Well, so, plus, I really like to talk to the community wherever they're at, and, yeah, and learning what people are doing, and and you know, making that contact and that networking to help then maybe someday I'll come up on a problem that they're experts in and mm -hmm. I know who to ping and get some assistance with it. So it, yeah. it's, it's a great program to help out everybody out in the community. Lots of great components and uh, <coughs> happy to, to kind of be here to kind of help support Component One and, and man the booth a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I know what you're talking about because I, I um, was with uh, Grape City and of course Grape City uh, acquired right. Component One. and. Uh, I was really happy about that acquisition because it's a whole new set of tools that are, are really good, really oh, good they're, tools, they're you know. They're really great. And uh, the more I use them, the more I like them. And yeah. uh, it just seems like, uh, you know, once you use it in one environment as well, like uh, maybe you're doing some Silverlight development, and then you go to do some phone development, it's, it's basically the same usage on these controls. You pretty much can just take what you learned one time in one environment and just apply it to the next, you know. Yeah, and as you know, a, a lot of... Uh, organizations, Microsoft included, when you go from one environment to another, you have to learn everything all over again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have a session coming up that you're doing in uh, about a half hour or so. Yes, it's called Branches and Merges or Bears, oh my. Say it faster. Branches and Merges or Bears, oh my. <laughs> That's it, all right. <laughs> I think I can, I think I can. Uh, so basically, it, it, it's very uh, version control agnostic, so I really don't care if you're using Git or TFS or yeah. well, hopefully not... Uh, source safe, but maybe you still are. Yeah. Uh, so the whole concept is that branching is easy, the merging is very hard, Yeah. but how you merge is based on how you branch and handle the branching. So I talk about best practices and patterns you can use for doing good branching so that when you can go to merge it's not as painful of a thing as typically it is in, in a lot of shops. Yeah, yeah, that's important. You know, the merging process, I think, I find uh, you know, I, I've done a lot of source control. I think I talked to you about this before. I used to work for a company called um, uh, Computer Associates, who mm -hmm. has the Endeavor product, um, which is more of a mainframe product. They have a BC version that I wrote uh, at one point years ago as well. But uh, it is uh, one of those things when you're doing a, a, a branch, uh, you want, you really want to try to merge that as soon as you can down the road. I think you know. I mean, you got business considerations of course right. but, but aside from that I mean you got the the possibility of, of resources leaving the company and then not knowing the code as well right when you go to merge it back together you either wait too long or till too late in the process right right till just before it's time to ship and then, then it's too late the other issue is a lot of people come to me and say well we're using git we don't have merge problems I'm like not yet um, I use git every day and uh, on my team and definitely we do have merge problems so you have to plan ahead and think about how you're doing your, your branching to make the merging a lot less painful. Today's a really good day for Component One. We just released our Windows 8 controls final version. I'm excited to get yeah. my hands on that. Actually, so that's uh, something you're going to start looking at, right? I actually have a Windows 8 uh, application. Maybe it's more targeted to phone, but uh -huh. an application I'm thinking about. Good putting up in the store, so I definitely will be using the controls there. Thanks a lot, Thanks and I appreciate it. Good awesome. luck. Thanks. Thanks. Stay tuned for outtakes and photos after this short message. Get UI controls for data visualization, layout, input, and more inside the Component One Windows 8 Studios. Designed to enhance the rich user experience of Windows 8, these controls give you powerful and unique functionality to help you build better and more compelling Windows Store apps. No matter whether you develop in C-sharp, VB, or JavaScript, Component One has controls for you. Visit componentone.com slash winrt to learn more and download the controls today. And I'm looking forward to doing my session uh, after lunch on Windows 8 uh, development, so uh, 
I'll, I'll be there to heckle. That's good. I wouldn't <laughs> expect any less from you, Greg. <laughs>